Hello, hello. Welcome to the last part of the Fallout New Vegas run. Um, the Tale to Wastelands run. It's been a while, right? It's it's been it's been a long time for play, for playing this. Uh, we are at 154 hours. I'm thinking this is probably gonna take me like two hours, two to three hours. This will be a short stream. Um, I gotta go. The You'll know it when it happens. Oh, this is to prevent Kimball's assassination. Okay, hold on. We we already dropped stuff off. Hey, sir. Would you like to come with me? We're gonna go save your president. Is it time? Let's travel together. I'm ready when you are. Let's go, buddy. Uh, we also need Eddie. Eddie, where are you? Eddie. Oh, he went back to Prim. That's right. Fucking weirdos. First. He went back in here. I like how like this dude is just dead here and like everyone just ignored him. Well, Not even like gonna put him away. Eddie. Throw com companion begin. Alright, let's go and see like what's undiscovered here. So dry wells. So let me go right here real quick. I think these locations are only open if you nuke the NCR or the Yeah, I think there's no way to get to those locations. Oh, wait, I don't have to rebreather re on. Hold on. Watch out. Yeah, you can't try. You can't fast travel out there. Damn. And yeah, this is the same. Uh, I nuked the, uh, the NCR. All right, so Legged Cam is the last thing then. So let's go to the Hoover Dam. So we'll go from Boulder City. Just to make it a little more dramatic. But yeah, we got to prevent Kimball's assassination. So our present Adam, Aaron Kimball? Aaron Kimball from the NCR? So uh, just a little bit of backstory of the NCR, right? Like their, their leadership. Uh, NCR was founded in, Sha uh, in Shady Sands, uh, which is very close to Vault 13, which is like where the first Fallout, Fallout takes place, Fallout 1, in California. Uh, they are established in originally a very small town. Their leader, Artesh, I believe it was the name, um, he is the leader of Shady Sands back in like 2160 uh, something. And he has a daughter, Tandy. Uh, Tandy got, gets captured by raiders, and it's actually the Vault Dweller, the hero from Fallout 1, that saves Tandy and Aratesh. Eventually, they gain enough political, I don't, don't want to say acumen, but like enough influence within the area that they fa they they found the uh, the NCR, Aratesh being, I believe, the first president, or, yeah. And then Tandy gets elected democratically for, like, I think, like, 50 years, dude. It's something ridiculous. Uh, and then eventually Tandy dies, and that's when like the cracks in the Republic are seen because everyone rally again, uh, rally for her, not for like the the old well-being of the Republic. So now Aaron Kimball in this expansion to the Mojave is coming here to give um, to raise the morale of the troops because obviously things are 
not great. And given that there's very much a lot of enemies around the area that want to kill him, particularly Legion assassins, we're going to have to take care of that. Um, if House were alive, he, he would want me to save him uh, because he can use him as a, as, like, as a fall pawn in case, you know, the NCR says, like, the, the word that fell because of him. I sure hope I get to meet President Kimball. I don't. You can go into the into the things of the dam, like I'm not sure I'll ever learn everything there is to know about this place. Mike Lawson sure knows his way around the dam. I've been to this dam. I've been inside. I I did the tour. Hello. I sure hope I get to meet First recons at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to hold it. All right, we're going to start this. So I could get further inside, but I think I, I need stuff from them. Is that, does this have an inscription? No, like, scripture? No. Alright. Alright. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? I have some questions first. Ask your questions, but keep it short. Can I use my weapons during the President's visit? We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. What are your security arrangements? Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations such as the landing platform on the visitor center. I'm gonna need I'm going to need access everywhere. Alright, I'll give you full access. Uh do you have a detailed schedule for the visit? Full itinerary here. Here you go. You got any leads on possible security threats? The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them. But given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Uh, what can I do to help? Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out.
All right, I'm done with questions. If there's nothing, I need to prepare first. Let me look at the itinerary. Hoover Dam presidential visit schedule. The, pr the president will visit Hoover Dam to give a speech to the troops and award a medal, a medal to Private Watson for his bravery and service to the NCR. The president is scheduled to arrive via Bird from California. The Bird will land on top of the visitor center where Col uh, Colonel Moore will meet the president and escort him to the stage. After a brief introduction by Colonel Moore, the president will give his speech. The speech will, will only take approximately four minutes. During the speech, the president will award a medal to Private Jeremy Johnson for his service to the NCR. Once the speech is over, the president will be escorted directly back through the visitor center to his vertebrae for immediate departure. In the event of an emergency, the speech will be canceled and the president will be rushed to the vertebrae for immediate departure. If there's a problem with the vertebrae, a room on the second level of the visitor center will be used as a safe room to keep the president secure until any threat is over. Access to this room has been restricted and Colonel Moore has the key to on her desk. We've got a lot to do to prepare. Middle of my press Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Let's get some rest and we'll have a brief talk first thing in the morning. Cool. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. So, uh, what's the plan for today? The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Oh, I should investigate it first. Hold on. We'll, we'll get through this. I have to investigate first. I've heard of you. We already went through this, so. Things are getting stranger every day. All right, let's see. This room. I see. Okay. Nelson's, Nelson's back. back in our hands. Hope we can defend this time. Of course, a key. Evening. I gotta find Allison Valentine. We won't go quiet. Legion can count on it. Yeah. This is pretty spot on to the real life stuff. Yeah, this is pretty spot on, but it's longer. It's like four or five of these, like going all the way across.
We put our trust in him and look what Is your friend one of those elite troops we've been hearing about? Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm committed to it. Okay. There's an inventory report. But we're going to, to take stock of what's left here. My impression is not much. The equipment here is in terrible condition and will require extensive repairs to get it even minimal power. Um, power production started. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, boys. No clue where these are. Johnson, I come across a crate with a couple of suits made out of material I don't recognize. Do you know what the hell this is? It looks like pre-war tech to me. The eggheads we, we have down here are mostly glorified mechanics, so they just... So they just scratched their heads when I show, showed it to them. Great, just great. Aren't those suits I told you about? Gone. Some jackass ordered a complete reorganization of our storage system, and now I can't find anything. Wonderful. I guess they'll turn up sooner or later. Ah. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Look who it is. What can I do for you? Tell me about yourself. I guess I can spare a minute or two for you. Things are a little slow at the moment anyway. Me? I've been in the military my entire life. It's a family sort of thing. My father served, my brothers served, and I serve. I've had the honor of serving all over the NCR, and 
Now I get to be out on the front lines as the NCR comes out east to help these folks here. Once we get rid of the Legion, this will be a better place for everyone. I'm proud to be part of that. All right, well, I know what, what am I supposed to do, so let, let's just go to the, the exit here. Hey. Nope. Okay, well, whatever. We've got a lot to do to prepare. I made my preparations. Let's get Good. started. President doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Let's get some rest, and we'll have a brief talk first thing in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. So what's the plan today? The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. All right, let's get the show on the road. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. I've heard that. Oh, I have to do it like this. Okay. Then she should trigger on the second floor. Should be someone here with a name. You, there you are. Hello. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. I haven't seen him. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Now oh, this is on. Who were them security report? Ranger Grant. With the president's arrival today, security is running a final sweep of the area making preparations. Only members of the security team will have weapons at the president's speech. This means all the troopers at this speech must relinquish relinquish their weapons beforehand. We will limit people we will limit people allowed to see the speech to a small number to reduce any potential risk to the president. I've gotten them word that the president is traveling with only two rangers, so our security team will need to be in full alert. I'll, I'd still like to log my concerns about not having enough time to prepare for this, but we'll do our job here today. Grant, security duty roster. You notice that you notice that, that duty roster has been accessed by an unknown login ID. Be a good idea to keep an eye out for anything out of the ordinary. Security assignments for the president visit. The basic assignments are like this: are, are this. Rangers will secure the perimeter and keep an eye out for any external threats. Additional rangers will be stationed around the stage and the crowd. Their primary job is to keep an eye on the crowd to make sure nothing funny happens. I want sharpshooters posted position at this posi at the following sniper positions. 
Visitor Center Roof, Western Ridge. Them Tower Roof 1. I want to rally up there to check in. Stay frosty. Nothing bad is going to happen on our watch, Grant. Engineer report. Mike Lawson. We will see where the, the, that the president's vertebrae is having some issues with the flight control power. Computer. I've had some text here examining the logs that were sent, and we think we can fix the issue with a small computer update. Ranger Grant has given me permission to have one of the NCR engineers examine the vertebrae when it arrives, as well as having our computer update, our, have, as well as having our computer update the vertebrae systems after it arrives. Mike Lawson. Blood. There's a pool of blood on the floor. Perception search. Perception of six required. Do nothing or examine the stain. Examine the stain. You notice the area and notice a bloody wrench and a toolbox nearby. Someone was killed here recently, and judging by the scene, it was one of the engineers. You should keep eye an eye out for any engineers acting strangely. Still no luck finding my friend. You better show When soon. I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Let's save, because I'm going to try to make it all in one fell swoop. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear win. I'd be up on that ridge. If I didn't care about escaping, maybe that near tower or the landing pad behind us. Where's the landing pad? Oh, like the three spots where they could be, I see. Have you finished your security suite? Not yet. I want to check over here first. Alright, let's start. 
Have you finished your security suite? Yep, I'm ready. When will the president be here? Looks like that's his bird a bird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. You're clear to go on through. Examine. You're looking at the presidential vertebrae. The assassins could have done something to the vertebrae. Repairs, repair or explosives 50 or higher to acquire. Leave the vertebrae alone or examine the vertebrae. You search the vertebrae and notice a strange item that doesn't belong. Upon examination, you notice it's a bomb. You skillfully disable the bomb and remove it from the vertebrae. First recons in Camp Forlorn Hope. Put some rangers in there too, and it'll be a damn impregnable fortress. Hey! Hey, Wilson, thank you for the follow. Alright, where's the other sniper? We need to keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Yeah, just like that. Not bad. Wait, what? No. Not supposed to do that. Doing well. Just chilling. Alright, there's the vertebrae. Damn it. Okay. I, I gotta wait. There's supposed to be another dude that comes up here. Hey, I heard about you. Nice dog you have there. Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, but he's a smart dog. Would you mind if I borrow him to check out the area? Or how do you get his coat so shiny? I brush it every day. 100 brushes. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Alright, so did that. The fountain the southern. Notice anything suspicious? Nope. Haven't noticed anything strange at all. Neither has my friend here, and he has a good nose for these things. Would you mind if I borrow him to check out the area? I don't know about that. It's okay, I'm good with animals. Okay. Take good care of them and bring them back when you're done. Problem here. You're the problem. I'm not here. sure what you mean. I think you have me confused with someone else. 
Would you happen to know who did maintenance on the bird on the president's bird bird? You will regret this. Die, profligate! <laughs> I could have let him start the speech, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Alright guys, come on. There we go, there's the achievement. Is that it? Still no luck finding my friend. He better show up soon. All right, so we did that. So that was the last that quest. Go to the El Dorado station power station and sell the override chip. So we're gonna go do that. That's probably gonna be the last one. So this station is all the way vol by Vault 11. That's Vault 11. That's El Dorado substation. The issue here is that it's right. It's protected by NCR people. That is not an issue. Uh, Boone, I need you to go home. Sounds like it's going to be an all-out war with the lead. I think we should part ways. Uh, go to Vault 38. All right, so now we need a stealth boy to get in here. So sneaky. All right. Oh, they're all asleep. What the hell? All right, whatever. El Dorado substation. Power substation. Leave the access point alone or power it. Power the substation. All right, chip removed. Report back to the yes man. Yes, sir. Back to the strip. Thank you for visiting New Things. to the penthouse. Have a nice day. 
Hello. President Kimball survived his visit to Hoover Dam. Nice one. Now, moving on. Don't hey. you love seeing the Lucky 38 all lit up? Sign of things to come. Exciting news. The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack imminent. Monster of the East ready to roll. Is there anything else I should do before the battle? Well, some of Mr. House's projections predict a moderate probability of civil instability subsequent to the NCR being driven from the Vegas region. One of the mitigating contingencies he planned was to enlist the followers to provide increased medical aid throughout the region. Just seems like it might help keep things stable when we go independent. Not that I know what I'm talking about. All right, I'll go talk to the followers. Wonderful. I'll keep tabs on the situation at the dam. See you in a bit. Okay, cool. Thank you. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph. Oh, you want to give me? You want to give me something? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. If it can be bought, it can be hey, found. Two stim packs. Nice. Barkas. I've come to you for like four questions. I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely, and no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. If House is out of the picture, maybe we'll be able to get our hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. I think the followers should support an independent Vegas through the coming battle of the dam. I'm sure you have your reasons, but we are much too busy to waste our time on those selfish bastards. Even if we wanted to, we don't have the resources to handle such a monumental task right now. Unless you can handle our supply shortages, the best we can do is scrape by here in Freeside. The Garrett shouldn't be sending over supplies shortly. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out. But I can see the Garretts aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. Unless uh. All right, well, what's the objective now, though? How can I convince if you? If things don't go well at the dam, all of our efforts here could be for nothing. I hope to God the Legion doesn't win control. Uh, 
I'm sure you have. Even if we wanted to, unless you can handle our. I did. Just give you a bunch of stuff. Sorry Great again. to see you again. Also, I would like to extend an invitation to join the followers oh. of the apocalypse. Your work here in the old Mormon fort has been invaluable, and I can't think of a more worthy recruit. Will you join us? What does it mean to join the followers of the apocalypse? Our aim is to gradually shape a better, brighter future for the Wasteland. We seek to heal the planet through efforts not unlike the medicine and education we offer here in the Old Mormon Fort. All we ask is members and those seeking aid do their best to help those in need when the opportunity arises. Uh, yes, I'll join. Excellent. The followers' mission will be better served with someone like yourself traveling around the Mojave. As a representative of the followers, I present you with your very own lab coat. Wear it well, and may it aid our cause. Also, before I forget, here's a key to a safe house you can use to rest if you happen to be in the area. I'll just mark it on your map. Thank you. Uh, again, I think the followers should support an independent Vegas to the coming battle at the dam. Why should we support Vegas? They've locked Freeside out of the city and do nothing to help their neighboring townsfolk. I'm setting plans in motion, motion which will ensure both the Legion and NCR are pushed out of the Mojave. Wow. Whatever you have planned must be pretty big to give them the boot, but this sounds dangerous. I refuse to put my people at risk. If the NCR are pushed out, the raiders and other scum will run amok. No, no. Part of my plan involves automated security for the region. That is somewhat reassuring, but we still don't have the resources to care for the entire Mojave by ourselves. We already experience regular supply shortages. Opening our door to the entire region... I don't see how this could ever work. Hmm. This is a golden opportunity for the followers to spread knowledge and care throughout the Mojave. It is indeed our duty to teach and improve the living conditions of our fellow man, but we're talking an insane amount of logistics to make this work. We would establish a foothold in the region and be one step closer to rebuilding the Mojave. I think I see now what you intend to set in motion. If this plan will bring us one step closer to revitalizing the region, you can count on our support. So long as you keep us supplied, we will stay in the Mojave to provide care and education for those in need. Good. You gave me a lab coat? Hell yeah, brother. Just like in real life. What's it give you? Plus 10 med, plus 10 science? Not bad.
all loitering. Damn, son. Uh, let me go here first. Alright, so he's right here. Let's go to the penthouse. Let's go talk to this man. Hello, hello. Are you ready to head for the dam? Caesar's Legion is due to attack at any moment. I'm ready to go to the dam. Great. So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. Yeah. It turns out there are two ways we can win this thing. Hear that? We have options. All right. We could route the dam's power output to the facility under fortification hill. That'll restart its reactor just like you did with the lucky 38. That'll wake up the Securitron army you left on standby and give us enough force to push the Legion and the NCR straight out of the Mojave. The other option is destroy the dam's generators. Without those, it's just a big bunch of concrete. The NCR won't have any reason to stick around. You don't have to decide yet. For now, all you have to do is take this override module and install it on the terminal in the power control room. Word. Good luck. See you at the dam. You are committing to fight for an independent Vegas at the Battle of the Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there is anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now, before you cross the point of no return. Let's do this. You must get to the control room and install the override ship. No gods, no masters. That's how it should be. Answer. What? Why are the cops? I just realized something before this. Uh, did I mess this up? No, I'm not ready yet. Why are the cons fighting the NCR? I told you to leave the fuck alone. Where? Yeah, ignore the con. Yeah, I plan to ignore the great cons. So, where is there? Yeah. Where, where is there? It dies. I don't care. Let's do it. All right, we go. Hey, right, so I wasn't doing anything wrong. It, that's gonna explode. Stop right there. No one 
is allowed into the control room. That's what you think. Where is it? This control box is connected to the main computer banks at Hoover Dam. Leave it, to, leave it alone and sell the override chip. Hi! Nice to see you again! Hmm. So, we can blow up the dam's generators, or I could route the dam's entire power output to the fort. That'll activate a certain army of Securitrons and set them loose to ravage the Legion. What do you say? What do you think? Send the power to the fort. Yes! This is going to be fun! I'm unlocking the east power plant. Hit the manual switch, then go topside and deal with the Legion and NCR. How did the Legion make it into the power plant? There you are! This switch controls the power to the east side of the power plant. Leave the switch alone or turn it on. Turn it on. Running through the fucking entire legion. Let the camp is that way. Bro, the secure trunks are just laying waste. Open gate to the Legged camp.
there's a dude up there. Well, Mia, it's your time has come to die. You can run. And who are you to come before me? You don't bear the mark of the bear, yet you are ready for battle. If you think you've got any chance of taking over Dam, you're wrong. Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. What? Ka Kaiser wasn't brave enough to come to the Dam himself? Kaiser's will is made truth through me. I am a hammer against all that defy his rule. If you seek to stand against me, you shall fall as the West falls. We nice mask, I can't wait to take it as a trophy. The walls of Hoover Dam, your body facing West so you may watch your world die. Wait, where did this person go? They're like over here. Incoming! Alright, we have no idea where the guy is, but. Yep. Alright, Oliver. Time to leave the fuck up on my region. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Hold that thought, General. I want to introduce you to some friends. And, uh, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. The dam is won, for me. You and the Legion both lost today. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Oh. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. 
Are you sure that's Weiss? Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... How about I ask these rogues to fuck you and your entire battalion with a rocket mirage? You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? Yeah. No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook or I'm not going anywhere. Because you're all talking and not, ta not attacking? Yeah. But I wasn't expecting a fight when I came up here. And now that we're talking, I don't like the sound of things. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops? I guarantee I put more thought into the state of the Mojave than you or anyone in the NCR. <sighs> Hell. Can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day, and I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. Oh, okay. I see. Yes, man. Throw General Oliver from the dam. What the hell? No. Get away from you goddamn TV on wheels. If you were in my place, huh, motherfucker? Should keep your fucking mouth shut. Stupid fuck. Yeet him. <laughs> fuck that dude. How fucking dare you, motherfucker? Ah. You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but, well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality to be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing, and it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. Cool. So that's where I'll be. Off making a few changes. And I... I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. Thanks, buddy. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas's independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended. Quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Though some super mutants in Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utobitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Invigorated by his travels with the courier, Raoul once more took up his guns in memory of his lost Rafaela. Soon after, the Mojave was filled with tales of the ghost of Aguero who hunts down those who prey on the weak. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. The Brotherhood's open aggression along the New Vegas highways troubled Veronica greatly. Nevertheless, it removed all doubt from her mind that in leaving them, she had made the right choice. Eventually, she would take to the road, 
less in hopes of finding a new home than of leaving memories of the old one behind her. The fiends overran Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. In the anarchic months that followed, the fiends asserted dominance over Outer Vegas. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. Arcade was proud to have been one of the defenders who helped repel the Legion from Hoover Dam. He was prouder still to see the area freed from the shackles of the NCR and Mr. House. Though independence for New Vegas was not all he hoped it could be, Arcade used his enclave knowledge and technology to keep order wherever he could. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. In the years following the destruction of Cassidy Caravans, NCR used evidence of the plot to blackmail the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. NCR enacted strict trade laws with little resistance, strengthening their supply lines and their position in the Mojave. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. Shaped up by the Courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Though NCR was withdrawing from the region, Boone remained in New Vegas, finding work as a security guard and caravan scout along the highways. While he might have preferred rejoining his old unit, Boone couldn't bring himself to abandon the city where he'd met his wife. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the waste, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the majority of the Vault 19 powder gangers joined the Great Khans, the weaker members scattered throughout the Mojave wasteland. Though a few managed to erase their past, most never survived the journey. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. Although they performed admirably during NCR's defense of Hoover Dam, the Rangers fell into decline soon after. With Hanlon's plot against the occupation exposed and Oliver denounced for losing the Hoover Dam, many rangers were greeted coldly on their return home. Few openly blamed the rangers for Hanlon's treachery, but public and political support for the military as a whole quickly dwindled. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. 
Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war, war never, never changes. changes. Such a good game. And the th they should send us back. Yeah. Congratulations on completing Fallout New Vegas. Would you like to load a save prior to the Hoover Dam battle? If you select no, you will return to the main menu. Uh, if I select no, I return to the main menu. Congratulations. Ooh. So... So yeah, so that was it. Um, that's gonna get the lighting camera. All right, so that was it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me let me put it out here. So essentially, we left Vegas independent. We got rid of Mr. House, right? Because uh, they just wanted to keep the entire place as a basically a monument to the old world. Yeah, he wanted to develop things, but also he was going to rule everything with an iron fist. And I'd rather do it myself rather than letting someone else do it. Uh, the NCR, as we saw, was very spread out and was not cohesive enough to handle the region. Uh, and that's why I did not choose them. They were just going to struggle. I'd rather Vegas find its own identity in that regard. Uh, the Legion, pretty self-explanatory. I made Linnaeus eat shit very fast. And then, yeah. And dealt with like every every other faction. So yeah, there you go. That was 160 hours of Fallout. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this in this huge huge journey that I undertook uh, from the Capital Wasteland and all of Fallout 3, all the way to New Vegas and all of its DLC as well as the Fallout 3 DLC. Um, so I won't be playing the I won't be playing New Vegas uh, Fallout for a bit. Next, um, as of record as of the ending of recording of this is seven. Today is July 5th. So I will be starting the Thousand Year Door uh, on my stream. And that will also go on YouTube. And after that, I will likely do uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree, so Elden Ring. And then by that time, I hope that the new Zelda has come out. And I'll do Echoes of Wisdom then. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.